the sort of hedonic treadmill that we can be on. Um, it's almost self-fulfilling. Yes. How do we get off that treadmill? Well, the hedonic treadmill <coughs> says that we do get satisfaction out of acquiring things, out of pay rises, out of promotions, out of a new car, a new house. But that, uh, the kick that we get from that is actually very brief. It takes us very little time before we get used to the new car or before we acquire an ambition to have an even bigger car. And so that's the hedonic treadmill. You can stay on that forever and just keep pounding away because uh, unless you keep pounding away, that form of happiness will decline. How do you, well, you just stop playing that game. And you don't have to stop playing it by moving to Nimbin and being a hippie. You can slowly withdraw from the game. You know, you can start with saying, I, I, I'm going to drive a, um, I'm, I'm going to drive a Toyota that's perfectly a reliable, acceptable car, gets you from A to B without any problem. It's going to sit in my drive. None of my neighbours are going to be impressed, but I don't care. I have different priorities. Uh, I care about the way I treat people. I don't really care about the, what, what they think about my status relative to them. To, to to pull back from that status game, which is what keeps a lot of people on the treadmill. It really does. Mm -hmm. There are ways to, uh, uh, to withdraw from that, even if you're only doing it in, in small ways, and, that, and that they can accumulate and give you greater freedom. And the greatest freedom is not worrying about what people think of yours, about your status. Mm -hmm.